Episode 1 of the Decameron starts during the period of the Black Plague, when a noble family prepares for the wedding of their 28-year-old daughter, Pampania. While the poor people outside look for ways to survive, Pampania is worried if the man she is betrothed to, Leonardo of Fisoli, will love her given her age. When she overhears a man crying out that his wife has died, Pampania asks her maid to pack her outfit for their upcoming trip to the countryside. At the same time, Dionio, the in-house physician and a servant to a nobleman named Tindaro, watches and gets him ready for their trip to Villa Santa. Another noble couple, Pamphilo and Nafile decide to attend Leonardo's wedding to flee from Pamphilo's family's debt. The couple decide to remain celibate until the pestilence is over, but we see Nafile getting turned on when she sees a hot looking flagellant. The two take the chariot ride to Villa Santa as well. Meanwhile, Lakiska is a maid to another nobleman named Eduardo. Eduardo's wife and two older daughters had already died due to the plague. Vilhelmina is Eduardo's only surviving and unmarried daughter, and Lakiska tries to look for remedies to heal Eduardo, who is sick from the plague. When she returns, Philomena scolds the maid for trying to save her father, who was as good as dead. Just then, a messenger arrives with a scroll, inviting Eduardo and his family to Villa Santa for the wedding of Philomena's uncle, Leonardo. Philomena accepts the invitation and asks Lakiska to pack their bags. Lakiska is worried about Eduardo, who is alone and sick, and refuses to leave with Philomena. Meanwhile, Tindaro and Pampania are on their respective chariot rides to Villa Santa, with their respective servants. Tindaro tells Dionio how he was repulsed by women and expresses his disdain towards the other gender. Meanwhile, Pampania mockingly expresses her sympathy towards Messia, who had to leave her sick friend behind in Florence. Just as the chariots start arriving, the steward, Sirisco, buries someone in the front yard outside. He rushes in to welcome Pampania and tells her that Leonardo is away and will arrive soon. In the kitchen, the villa's maid tells Sirisco that they need to find a new master who will be capable of taking over the villa now that Leonardo has died. They discuss which one of Leonardo's cousins is capable of running the villa when Messia and Pampania show. Pampania presents her demands for the evening get together but gets worried that Sirisco knows how old she is. She asks Messia to make sure no one finds out that she is 28 and goes back to her room. Messia slaps Sirisco as the two get into an argument again when he tries to tease Pampania for being old. Messia then leaves to look for a sick girlfriend, Parmena. As it turns out, Messia had hidden Parmena in one of the oil barrels before leaving Florence. Desperate to go to the villa, Philomena goes into Eduardo's chamber and returns to tell Lakiska that her father has passed away. Lakiska tries to meet Eduardo one last time, but Philomena forbids her. With nothing holding her back in Florence anymore, Philomena asks Lakiska to pack up and the two leave for the countryside the following morning. On the ride there, Lakiska takes pity on a poor man on the side of the street and offers him a piece of bread. Philomena gets upset by this and tries to take the remainder of Lakiska's bread from her. The two get into an argument which ends with Lakiska pushing Philomena off the bridge and into the river. Lakiska is shocked but decides to disguise herself as Philomena to get in. A bunch of bandits follow though as they spot her on the way to the villa. Meanwhile, the guests are getting to know each other at the villa when Lakiska shows and introduces herself as Philomena. She states that she's alone because her maid was tending to Eduardo. Tindaro wonders how many guests could have died due to the plague. Sirisco shows the guests around the villa and every time there is a mention of death, Nefile gets down on her knees and starts praying. On the walk, Dionio flirts with Lakiska, but Tindaro intervenes and makes the conversation awkward. In private, Dionio asks Lakiska to go on a walk with him the following morning. In their room, Nefile tells Pamphilo how the other guests at the villa treated her because of her faith in God. Pamphilo asks Nefile to calm down as going back to the pestilence-ridden Florence would not be a good idea. He reminds Nefile of their sacrifice which would help end the plague. The next morning, Lakiska gets dressed up in Philomena's clothes and enjoys the luxuries of being a lady. Dionio calls her out for a walk and praises her beauty. However, Tindaro spots them and joins on their walk. He is awkward around Lakiska but tries to get to know her. He asks Dionio to leave them alone, which the latter does unwillingly. Later that day, Dionio tells Tindaro that there is an issue with his health and gives him a tea laced with an ingredient to make him sick. That night, Messia checks up on Pamina and learns that her girlfriend is not recovering. Pampania requests a pig roast for dinner, hoping that Leonardo will finally show up. A frustrated Messia agrees, but struggles to find and cook the pig. The rest of the guests are waiting for Tindaro to show for breakfast, but Dionio states that he is unwell. Pampania loses her mind when Leonardo does not show and throws a fit. 
Miska, who is already overworked, breaks down when she sees that Parmina has died. Meanwhile, Pamphilo notices the gestures between Lakiska and Dionea. He warns that it would be better for her, a noblewoman, to court a nobleman like Tindari to save her family. Tindari shows up at dinner and tries to oppress Lakiska. Messia tries to bury Parmina's dead body and ends up discovering Leonardo's carcass. The two agree to keep each other's secrets, but the bandits that follow Lakiska show up at the villa and a fight breaks out as the nobles attack. Nefile was shocked to learn that one of the bandits was a cardinal from her church back in Florence. The cardinal tells Nefile that God has abandoned the humans and tries to attack her. Pamphilo saves Nefile when Lakiska kills the pestilence-ridden cardinal in front of the other nobles, shocking everyone. Just then, there's a knock at the door. Pampania rushes over expecting Leonardo but finds Philomena there and that is where episode 1 of the Decameron ends. Thanks for watching and do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like or subscribe to the channel, your support is very much appreciated. I'm Greg Wheeler and from all of us over here at The Review Geek, we'll see you on the next video.